Hey, what's up guys? Your boy is Pilot 2K7 and we are back with another real life mod. Today we are back at work. It is Monday guys. We got the Dodge Ram 3500 out. We actually just got a call from our secretary. Apparently an ambulance got stuck on the beach. So a fire department ambulance was responding to a call and they got stuck and like some water on the beach I'm not really sure what they were trying to do but we're gonna go ahead and respond over there or head over there I should say and see if we could help get the uh, ambulance stuck out so I believe it's gonna be a 2018 Ford F450 um, ambulance so we're gonna try to see if we could rescue that and um yeah guys it is Monday so you guys know it's Monday we have to go to work we gotta run our business so if you guys are new to our real life mod series in this series we pretty much try to uh, work and make money and we pretty much own a transportation company so we deal with all types of transportation we do towing repoing um, we do heavy rescues and recovery so today we're trying to get this thing out of the um, get this uh, ambulance out of the water or the sand I don't really know what's going on we'll figure it out once we get there but um hopefully we'll be able to pull it out with the Dodge um, if not we can always go back to the shop and grab whatever we need I figured we'll bring this trailer because it probably won't fit on our rollback record we do have a rollback record but I don't think the ambulance is gonna fit on that so I figured it should be able to fit on this trailer and in the 3500 Ram this, this thing should be able to pull the ambulance without a problem so they told me it was by the lifeguard station I know the lifeguard station is down here so let's see if we can get there and hopefully you guys do enjoy this episode if you do you already know make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe if you are brand new we are killing it guys I believe we're at 212,000 subscribers so thank you guys so so much for that and um, yeah it's gonna be an awesome summer guys we're gonna have Tons of live streams, tons of videos. Definitely, I'm um, looking forward to it. All right, there's a lifeguard station right there. I, would, I think I'm gonna take like one of the next turns here. Oh, watch out, buddy! I mean, I am driving crazy too, but you gotta watch out. All right, I think this is gonna be a good access road. I think I see it already. You guys see it? Let me know if you guys can see it yet. I gotta kinda be careful here. I don't wanna hit nobody. I don't think I'm supposed to be driving here, but okay, I gotta do what we gotta do. A lot of helicopters. Alright, gonna carefully try to maneuver my truck through here. Oh, there it is, guys. There it is. Looks like it's gonna be a Los Angeles Fire Department ambulance actually all right let's see what's going on here all right there goes the paramedics they got out yep it is stuck it is definitely <laughs> looking stuck all right let's go um well let me pull this a little bit closer I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to drive it onto this or if we're gonna have to like pull it out with a winch maybe. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna park off my truck like this for now. Until we figure out what exactly is going on. Alright, so I'll leave it like that for now. And let's go ahead and hop out and see if we can figure out what is wrong with this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the paramedics. Hey, what's up guys? You guys got stuck? What happened? Oh, you, you didn't see the water here? Yeah, this is like that swamp stuff that's back up over there. Oh, you guys were responding to a call, got stuck in the water. Oh, man, these things are two-wheel drive, right? Because obviously we're in Cali, so not much need for four-wheel drive out here, understood. All right, um, let me see if I could get it out, I guess. Um, the key's in the ignition. All right, let's, let's try it. See if it still starts. Hopefully it didn't flood the engine or anything. All right, still starts. All right, looks like the transmission has overheated, guys. Looking at the dials here, you know what it was when you do a lot of forward and reverse, back and forth, you could really overheat the transmission really fast. 
Yeah, they're stuck, guys. They're stuck. Oh, oh, we're getting it worse. We're getting it worse. Yep, they're stuck. They're stuck. All right. Um, let me see what I can do here. All right. Yeah, you guys are um definitely stuck. Um, I think I'm gonna be able to get you guys out though. Don't worry. I'm. I should be able to handle this. Let me call my secretary. Let me let her know that we're gonna be able to handle this. She don't have to send a heavy wrecker. Yeah, we got this. We're good. We're good. All right. Call you in a bit. All right. Cool. Bye. All right. So I told her that we have this under control. Um, what we're gonna do? Let's move the trailer out of the way first. So I move the trailer like maybe right here. Let's go ahead and disconnect. And what we're gonna do? I'm gonna try to use the the raw power of the Dodge 3500 here and see if we can just pull this Ford ambulance out of here. So let me know if you guys think this is going to work or not. You guys think this Dodge is strong enough? You can see it is four wheel drive, so hopefully it is able to pull this bad boy out. I think it should be good though. Alright, so let me go ahead and attach uh, some tow row from the back of our truck. And we'll attach it to the, um, they normally have, oh yeah, perfect. See these hooks right here? We'll attach it to these two hooks right here. So let's just get down, attach, and we'll attach it to the back of our truck. And I think we're gonna be good, guys. All right, so now that we have everything attached, let's see if we go ahead and pull it out. Let me just make sure it's still one safety check. All right, that's attached, and that's attached. All right, so you guys just stand back, and I should have this thing out now. Your transmission has overheated, so I highly recommend you guys don't drive it. It's probably going to give out on you. Um, you guys pretty much overheat it, rocking it back and forth, forward and reverse there, or drive in reverse there. So we're going to do, um, I'm going to pull it out. Uh, once I get it out, I'm going to load it onto the trailer, and then I'll just tow it to a repair shop. I'll see where the um, LAFD wants me to tow it, and then um, I guess that'll be it. And uh, you guys, y'all good? Y'all gonna get an Uber? I get an Uber? Alright, cool. So, um, I guess y'all wait for your Uber. I'll go ahead and pull this out. Let's go ahead and do that here. Let's go ahead and pull this bad boy up. Alright, let's turn on the Dodge. Oh. Up, oh, it's working, guys. There we go without an issue at all. There we go. The power of the dodge is amazing, guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and unhook this. So that worked out pretty well. Let's go ahead and unhook that there. Take off the hooks. And we'll unhook that there too. And jump back in. Alright, so we have the ambulance on the hook. Let's go ahead and hook back up to our trailer. Now, our trailer should be able to support this ambulance. Um, we will find out. <laughs> Let me try to line up a little bit better with the ambulance since we can't really move the ambulance too much here. I think that's lined up pretty good there. Alright, so let's go ahead and lower the ramps on this. I and mean, then we're going to try to just uh, get this ambulance on board. Alright, so let's lower the ramps. Ramps are lowered. to do this fast before we overheat the transmission here. Let's see if we just jive it up. We got to try to keep this thing even. It's really wide at the the end. I wanna, I wanna make sure the weight is like on the axis too. That should be good. Alright. So we got it hooked. Let's go ahead and put this back up. Perfect. Alright guys, so that looks pretty good there. Let's go ahead and uh, 
hold us to one of our repair shops. Let me see if they would have too many people. I'm assuming they have their own fleet services department, most likely. So we'll probably tow it to their fleet services and they'll probably take care of it. Because most larger departments have their own like fleet services and stuff like that. So I'd assume the LAFD does. So what we will do is let's tow it. Tow it, tow it, tow it. I always forget where the headquarters station is at. I should remember. We did all those videos there. Um, I want to say it's over here somewhere. So we'll tow it to the headquarters. Um, that's pretty much where their fleet services department is. And they should be able to take care of it from there. Alright, so it looks like the Dodge Ram 3500 is able to handle this. I'm going to just change the weather because it always goes foggy. Let's go neutral. There we go. That looks a lot better. Wow. Alright, so we have rescued that ambulance there. Whoa, nearly fell off the little boardwalk there. So now what we have to do is try to get... Um get this thing to the headquarters and then we should be done with our day guys so like I was saying in the last um, real life mod video we did we are gonna have to get a new shop guys so let me know if you guys want to see a video of us going out and looking at locations for our new shop because pretty much we have outgrown our own sh our old shop which is kind of a good problem that means business is doing well we're expanding so we just need to we need a space to put all of our new equipment like these trailers and all of the other trailers and all the trucks and there's a lot of new trucks I want to purchase as well for our transportation company so uh, we're gonna be busy we're gonna have a busy summer I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of repos as well summertime a lot of people buy cars and get nice fancy cars that they can't even really afford you know so I'm pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna have a, a pretty busy summer just to say the least. I don't know if I'm gonna make this cut here. Yeah we're good. Oh the Ram. Dodge Ram is pulling this forward without a problem. Alright let's see where are we going here. Um, I know it's by the police station. I don't know where it's at. I always forget. Let's let's just try to get to the general area and we'll drop it off once we get over there. I really do love this mod though. I think this is my favorite trailer now. And remember guys, if you guys want to check out any of the mods that I am using, make sure you check out the video description and also check out my website acepilot2k7.com have a lot of cool things on the website if you go to acepilot2k7.com slash shop you can actually get a official acepilot2k7 t-shirt which are pretty awesome have some other different merchandise as well but the t-shirts are pretty cool so definitely check those out also have tutorials in the tutorial section so if you want to learn how to mod definitely check out the tutorial section i have mod lists so if you want to download the mods I'm using check out the different mod lists that we have and it looks like I brought this thing to life invaders so where the heck is the fire station at? is it over here I always forget where this station is at I don't know why I know it's not oh yeah I think it's up here guys I think it's up here somewhere over here If it's not over here, then it's on the other side. It's somewhere close to here, though. We are very close. I think it's up ahead. Also, guys, let me know what else you guys would like to see. You just gonna... Holy crap. They just got hit. Oh. I was gonna say, you just gonna stop in the middle of the street and pull out a cell phone. And we got it. Alright, here we are, guys. We made it. So here is the fire station. Um, I'm not sure where they want me to drop it. Let me see if any of these firefighters know. I don't want to drop this thing like in an active bay or anything like that. So let me see where they want me to drop this bad boy at. Hey, what's going on, firefighters? You guys know where the um, fleet 
fleet services department is. I got a uh, ambulance that I got to drop off. It broke down at the beach. Pull it around to the other side. All right, cool. No problem. Thank you. All right, so they said take it over to the other side. Let me see if I can back it up over there without hitting anything. Let's see if our backup skills are on point right now. All right, I think they want it right here. Yeah, right here should be good. All right, they're gonna have to do this fast here because these people are idiots. He's gonna probably drive right into my trailer. All right, let's uh, lower down the ramps. Now we gotta drop it right here. Now, sometimes when you get into this after you unhook it, after you hook it, it may go crazy. I'm just putting that disclaimer out from now. So if this thing goes crazy, I already warned you guys it's gonna happen. All right, so let's go in. Oh, it didn't. All right, good. So let's carefully back up. So happy it didn't do that. Perfect. I'm going to park this thing right here. And then Fleet Services is going to go ahead and bring it inside. And they'll check out the transmission. Everything should be good. They probably just got to add some transmission fluid or flush out the old fluid that got burnt out there. But um, looks like we had a successful day. Um, city should be paying us. The only thing about the city, they take like 30 days to pay. But it's all good. They always do pay. It's always good to make that money from the city but anyway guys hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode if you did make sure you guys hit that like button leave some comments down below let me know what else you guys would like to see me do in real life my like i said we do have to um go ahead and look for a new shop so let me know if you guys want to go shopping for a new shop and also we gotta have some fun too guys we've been we've been working a lot lately man we gotta have some fun maybe we should take out one of our cars and go like street racing or something or you know we gotta do something for fun so let me know if you guys have any ideas on things we could do for fun and also let me know what we should do for work as well so anyway guys thank you guys for watching really do hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one peace